good morning my dear students welcome to our ip class today we are going to start a new chapter which is data visualization so this is the last chapter for term 1 we already studied two chapters for term 1 they are data handling using pandas 1 and societal impacts the last session is data visualization this is a small chapter in term 1 exams this chapter will be there first we can identify the syllabus of data visualization we have to study data visualization purpose of plotting drawing and saving of plots using matplot library line plot bar graph histogram customizing plots adding label title and legend in plots these are the topics we want to study so let's start our class so let's start our data visualization class this is the third chapter in the textbook of sumita arora so first we have to know what is data visualization as the name implies what is visualization visualize means representing by using pictures when we are studying something if we represented that data in pictures it will be easy to understand like that in our python pandas also we can visualize some data by using data visualization methods so it plays an essential role in the representation we can represent both small and large scale data by using data visualization methods so by using a visual context we are explaining our concepts or our data so this is more applicable if we are using large data sets if we are using large data sets into visual graphics user can understand easily the relationships or complex relationship within the data in python there are many data visualization libraries are available what is a library in pandas or in all subjects library means it will hold some data which are already defined by that language so no need to define that library again by using this inbuilt methods or inbuilt mechanisms so in python pandas there will be mainly three packages or three libraries are available to use visual effects in our program they are matplot library cborn and folium so in this we have to study matplot library alone so in our syllabus they specified that we have to study matplot library so purpose of data visualization is we can represent large data sets by using visualization methods for this there will be default libraries are available we have to study the library matplot library so what is the purpose or advantage of data visualization we all know if we represented any data by using pictures anyone can understand easily we can perform quickly by identifying the problems or task involved in that data set so the purpose of data visualization is better analysis quick action identifying patterns finding errors understanding the story story means concept of the program exploring business insights grasping the latest trends etc these all are very simple things you can get an idea while referring this pdf so next is our main topic that is matplot library it is the library used to plot something some data set it is in python package or library package means collection of functions in in a package in python package or library is the same concept we can access the functions by using or importing the corresponding library import statement are used to get a function that are already defined in the library 
we already used this import functions in import pandas as pd that means the pandas library is accessed by using import statement so matplot library is the python package or library used to create 2d graphs and plots by using python scripts so we can create a visualization like graph we already studied in mathematics what is a graph we can represent the data by using graph in statistical analysis it will be easy when we are using these graphs so matplot library is the full python package inside matplot library there are many functions or modules are there so the main name of the python package is matplotlib inside matplotlib there is a module known as pyplot is there the module's name is pyplot by using this pyplot we can draw graphs and plots uh, you heard about histogram or error charts we will study in details about histogram in the next session so by using this pyplot we can draw like graph or histogram etc it is used along with numpy we already studied numpy module numpy and matplot library in the beginning and in grade 11 also we studied numpy to a provide an environment for matlab so this matplot library contains a pyplot module by using we can draw graphs or pie charts or histogram error charts etc by using pyplot we can draw figures that means we can draw the axis axis means dimensions in matplot library we already specified that we are using two dimensions so x and y two axis will be there if you are using two dimension so by using this pyplot library we will get an a pyplot we will get an interface to the plotting library in matplot library calling uh, for example calling plot from pyplot will automatically create the necessary figure that means in pyplot module there is a function plot by using this plot function it will automatically create a figure according to our axis or ac according to our values the setting a title will then automatically set by using this plot function we can set the title to the current axis object the pyplot interface is generally pre preferred for non interactive plotting so this pyplot is preferred for non interactive plotting so this is the pyplot by using pyplot is a module inside matplot library in this module there are many functions uh, for example there is a function named plot by using this plot we will automatically create the necessary figure and axis to achieve the desired figure then what is the matplot uh, library's pyplot features so these are the features first feature is drawing so if you are passing data based on that data corresponding figure is created or corresponding plot is created so first pro first process is drawing the second is customization customization means we can give color style or width title label all by using this pyplot that means plots can be customized as per the requirements of the user we can specify the size we can specify the title we can specify the color and all this saving saving means we can save our data visualization or our plot for future use then we can edit or we can give to another user like that so these three are the features of mat a uh, pyplot pyplot insert matplot library they are drawing customization and saving then how to plot in matplot library definitely we have to install something to plot that means matplot library is a package if we want to use that we have to install the installation command in python is pip command we already studied pip so install matplot library by using pip command what is the method pip pip install matplot library 
in command prompt if you type pip install matplotlib library matplotlib library will be not library i am always saying as library it is matplotlib by using matplotlib we can install after installing we have to import if you want to draw some figure we have to import matplotlib by using the first statement will be the import statement in the program installation in command prompt and if you taken a notepad and if you typed import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so import means it is an import statement which is used to access default package so import matplotlib is the our package dot pyplot that means inside this package there is a module known as pyplot the name of name we are giving as plt it is a user defined name this plt it is an identifier we can give our own name like 12 ip or we can give any name like that anugrah according to our wish we can give the name so syntax is import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt then we have to set data points in plot method we already studied plot method by using this plot method we can give axis values or etc et so we can set data points then customize plot through changing different parameters we can give name we can give color we can give dotted line according to we can customize then after that we have to call the show method if you simply write this plot method what happened it will not work it will not uh, it will not be visible to the user if we call the show method the corresponding figure will work and we can so see the output then we can save the plot or graph using py extension because it is a python program we have to use py extension so what are the method first we have to install installation just one time install matplotlib then we can access pyplot by using import statement then we can call the plot function and we can customize and after that we will show call the show method then we will save save using dot py extension then there are ty many types of plot using matplotlib they are line plot bar graph and histogram which we can study in the next class before that we can we have to look at an example these are the graph which we plotted by using this matplotlib bar graph this is bar graph we already studied this is histogram then scatter plot area plot pipe plot etc so this is the various components of chart that means in there are a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 these are a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 three values one represented by blue orange and this is ash color so there are for each component there will be three values that values are marked by using bars like this we will get an output so you all know this is the y axis this is the x axis this is the label value label value means these values 80 67 49 etc these are the label values then this is the legend 2017 18 that means we will denote it as a row label row label is known as like ligand or legend ligand then chart title class 12 english 3 years comparative analysis these are the titles these all we can give in our matplotlib by using matplotlib then this is the plot area these are the x-axis title y-axis title so by using this we can draw like this this is a bar chart by using the matplotlib we can draw this type of figures so types of chart many types of chart are there bar chart column chart pie chart area chart etc we can study in details so this is a simple example so if you want to denote marks of english subject in three years that means 17 18 18 19 19 20 we can use the bar chart a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 so by using these grades we can denote 
सो लेट्स वाइंड अप दिस सेशन नाउ थैंक यू